Hi, and welcome back to another Military Marketing Monday. Recently, we had a government shutdown in the United States that caused a lot of issues and hubbub and frustrations and all kinds of issues, especially for military life. And the one person that stood out as a shining beacon of hope for all of us military, active duty veterans and spouses, was Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Caleb O'Reilly. And after seeing his fantastic social media presence and what he did to inspire and uplift active duty military through that tough time, really got me thinking, what is it that your business could be learning from the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force? Make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more Military Marketing Mondays that are gonna help your business talk to, connect with, and market better to active duty military, their families, and retired veterans. The current Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force name is Caleb O'Reilly. He is a fantastic person who carries himself very eloquently and knows exactly what to say when people need comfort and support. So what exactly is the role of the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force? He is actually the highest ranking enlisted member in all of the Air Force. He actually has one of the highest seats in all of the Air Force where he even advises with generals and the President of the United States. So he's kind of a big deal. Chief Master Sergeant Wright has taken upon himself to make sure that his social media presence is focused on inspiration and information for all airmen in the military. Let's talk about some things that he's doing that you should be doing as well. The first and most important thing that he does that I just think really makes him relatable to anyone of any rank is that he is relatable. He is an everyday guy. He understands what it's like to go through basic training and work their way up to where he is today. And he does that by being normal. He talks about things like doing PT, eating in the defects, the struggles that they go through. When we were going through the shutdown, he was like, I'm not going to get a paycheck either, guys. Like, this affects my family just as much as it affects yours. So it's one of those things that you should be doing in your business. You should be being relatable. You should be talking about struggles, sharing behind the scenes. Do you like to run, work out? What's your family life like? These are the sorts of things that you should be sharing with people to break down that barrier of boring business. You really need to just make sure that you're a person because that's what people are going to want to do business with. I know that Chief Master Sergeant Wright has found a way to connect people through that relatability and if he can do it, you can do it too. One of the biggest things that everyone in all of marketing is always going to tell you is that you should be talking about what's happening behind the scenes. And Chief Master Sergeant Wright does that 100%. He is showing off the people of the Air Force, the airmen of the Air Force, the people who are making the changes and what is going on. He's getting into those planes and taking pictures. He's showing what it's like to be an airman in different spaces, in different places. And that's what your business should be doing as well. Show the behind the scenes. Again, pull back that curtain and share with people what it's like to get to these final products and services that you are offering to them. It's not about the final product. It's about the process in which it gets to. And the Air Force is the world's greatest Air Force, but it doesn't just magically happen. There are a lot of people and processes and procedures and time that goes into that. And Chief Master Sergeant Wright is really making sure to highlight that and make sure people know what is going on. He's also addressing issues. The Air Force is not perfect. It would be impossible for over a quarter of a million people to just be smooth sailing and 100% happy. Heck, I'm sure that you run into that with your own office of maybe five to 10 people where they're like, um, why is it that half these people are unhappy or something is going wrong? So he's addressing issues that the Air Force has and how they're planning to fix them. I mean, the fact that I found him through a government shutdown proves that by addressing issues and how we can deal with them together and to give hope is something that you should definitely be doing in your business. Find those problems, find those critiques, find that negative feedback that you've been getting about your business and share it and be like, you know what? It's been brought to my attention that this thing that we've done is not good or not working or has this problem and we're going to fix it and here's how. By being honest and upfront, it lets people know, again, who you are and what you're about. Everyone knows no one is perfect, but what makes them mad is when they try to pretend like they are and hide when there are actual problems. So make sure that you are addressing issues head on and of course following up with how you're fixing them so that you can have that continuity, you can have that care, and you can have that connection with people to show that you care. Obviously as the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, 
chief master sergeant, right, is traveling a ton and speaking a ton. It's a big part of his job to be inspirational and to share with people. And what he does, every chance he has, that he has a speaking engagement or a stage that he's on, he is going live. And I love that because while we might not be there to see what he has to say, we get to participate through our computers, through our phones, so that we're able to be a part of the mission further. We're able to connect more. We're able to be informed better, and we're able to be inspired by this man who has been in the airman's shoes where they are now. You should be going live. We talk about this in the show. In fact, I have a whole podcast episode where I talk with live pros that you can catch on the card right now. But you got to go live. Like You have to be there. You have to be present with people in order to know what's going on. And since video is such a huge deal right now in marketing, it's a really simple way to kill two birds with one stone. Go live, show what's happening right now, and, and be interactive with your audience. It's so easy to focus on the negative in social media. It's more important that we're also making sure while we're addressing issues that we're also giving credit where credit is due. Airmen are always doing something that is noteworthy. And Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force definitely, definitely does that. He's taking the time on his public profile to give praise where praise is due. He's talking about awards that he's given out and accomplishments that teams have made because he knows that morale increases when people know that good things are happening from their hard work. If you have a team member or something that you've done that has been noteworthy, that is award-winning, that is just, if you want to show some love, do it. And your social media platform is the perfect place to do that. I try to praise and love on our team of military spouses every chance I get because I would not be able to help all of you business owners without them. So I make sure to take care of them and love on them and praise them as much as I can on social and also <laughs> privately. But Make sure that you're doing that as well so that you can really build that rapport and people can know more about what the people of your team are doing. And the last thing that he does is something that's actually a pretty common social media practice that you may or may not be doing. He's actually sharing other resources from outside places to further inspire his followers. He's sharing TED Talks, links about things, articles to help inform people about what's going on. You should be doing that too. My best analogy as to why you should do that is think about when you were a teenager and your parents would tell you to do something and you were always like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But the moment one of your friends said the exact same thing, you thought it was the greatest thing ever since, you know, the cordless phone or cell phones or sliced bread or whatever the greatest thing is to you. It's so important to have your information reinforced from another expert source. And so Chief Master Sergeant Caliph does that when he's sharing outside information to inspire his troops. I hope that you're able to learn something today from the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. It's so important, no matter how big or small your business is, to have someone that can act as one of the faces of your brand, that can shine and glow and really just be the pillar for what your business is about. And I hope that these tips have helped you accomplish that or move that closer to that goal for being relatable, connectable, and inspiring for your followers. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and tell me what is it that you are going to start doing for your brand in the comment section below. If you would like to learn more about military life and how you can connect better with this demographic, please click the link right here just to get started. Like we always say in military life, it is never goodbye, it is see you soon. So until next time, I'll see you soon.